Here is a 22 inch weed eater. I picked this up for $20, if that, uh, in 2020. I needed a lawnmower I could just quickly run around uh, some, some trees and some areas of the property that aren't as manicured. Um, I wouldn't say it's a beater because I do take care of all my equipment. Um, it is filthy because it just got done being used. And a funny thing happened today. Uh, the main mower that we use um, failed. Take a look at that. So this one went on full-time duty and um, it ultimately had a failure as, as well. So this, I, I do like the weed eater. I do like for spare mowers using uh, 22 inch uh, jobs because they're just wider. Most lawnmowers today are really all of them are, are, are 21 inch. So uh, 22 inch wider cut um, and it's not that heavy. Um, I don't own a self-propelled mower. Even my heavy Honda is probably one of the few, if not the last, uh, that is not self-propelled. So that being saying, said, what happened today, and I haven't cleaned it yet. I always clean my equipment when I'm done, unless I run into like a rainstorm or something. So this, this worked itself out, unbeknownst to me. And I noticed when I would pull start it that the, the plastic cap would kind of like really move. And, uh, okay, I get, it's telling me I need to tighten it. Well, I went to go finish the job today. My son did most of the mowing. I went to pull it and oil was shoot, shooting everywhere. So if it looks oily, that's really what that was from. It was coming out. What happened was when I pulled on it, it pulled up because there was no... No screw there and it lifted the oil filler out and you can kind of see some of the orange there if it's coming up on the camera yep that's where like the gasket is or the seal and it was just shooting oil everywhere so I shut it off let it cool down um, and thankfully my son uh, he is a he's in the lawnmowers and has a has, a, has an old project lawnmower had some new extra bolts and put that in and it solved the problem of course it smoked for a while which was to be expected so i finished the job because i know the smoke would bother them just because they don't might not know what it is meaning my son um but the problem is on the other side there's one on the other side as well and i think one in the back one on the other side is stripped however i noticed this one was starting to strip as well but the size of this bolt that went in is um, slightly thicker with different threads and it bit right in. So I'm hoping that solved the problem. Uh, this is my second weed eater. The first one I, I got for free about 10 years ago. I needed the same idea. I needed a lawnmower for uh, just, you know, like a second lawnmower. And we had a bunch of tree work in the back and there was a a um, there was a, a stump that I didn't see, very small, hidden, and I, I, I hit it and stopped the lawnmower. Yeah, that's happened to all of us. When I had to start it again, it, I bent the shaft. Long story short, so I went looked for another one, found this one. Like I said, for about twenty dollars, if that. This one has never ran perfect. It runs well, but not great um, it will smoke it if you use it to cut the whole lawn it doesn't when it's done when you're done it'll let it'll let you know that it's done because you turn it off and there'll be some smoke coming out the exhaust a little bit after you turn it off just a little bit um, and I can feel that it's hot change the oil once a year on it service it make sure the, the air cleaner is clean the plug is good the blade is balanced and sharpened uh, the uns <laughs> Doesn't look like it now, but normally very clean. So I try to keep it optimized as can, but um, maybe the previous owner didn't run it with oil for a while or put too much oil in it, who knows. But um, it's already well paid for itself. And when I saw it shooting oil out today, I thought, well, it's over. Like, do I have a cracked head or something like that? Did it overheat and the head cracked? Nope. So um, we'll see if it, if, it, if it dies after the next 
cut for some other reason, it still gave me my money's worth and it would just be more of an inconvenience to see if I can fix it or look for a replacement. Thanks for watching and sharing my story. Subscribe and see you on the next one.